Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, I was getting lot of uh, comments about from a uh, lot of subscribers about the current situation here in Ontario and Canada. So this is what I am going to describe from a common uh, man's perspective. So this is just my perspective. So guys, COVID restrictions. I'll start with COVID restrictions. So we know they have been lifted, and nobody even talks about that anymore. hardly anybody you will find puts on a mask no one puts a mask anymore it's completely i would say 99.99% gone still you may find somebody out of somewhere that who is putting on the mask but most of the people are not putting on the mask coming to other things right now there is a crisis that is going on in healthcare because of shortage of healthcare workers like nurses doctors people are struggling especially when it comes to pediatric department it is too much first of all there is a severe shortage of over the counter and medications and some common antibiotics and in this season respiratory illnesses are spiking up so like people are finding it really hard the government of canada did import 1 million uh, over the counter medication packages but now within a week they are out of stock again because yesterday only i went to a few shops and i did not see any i was just touring around to see about what's going on and it is and it's not just about pediatric medication even for adult medication it's really even hard to get a bottle of cough syrup because the demand is too high because nobody is following uh masking and other things so definitely infection and other respiratory illness diseases are going to spike and we are saying it around it is happening coming to economy so in winter season definitely the number of jobs reduce because lot of seasonal jobs get created in summer some seasonal jobs get created in winter as well but in summer it's always high but now they are not or there are no anymore but still there is a severe shortage of workers in many uh, sectors no doubt because still recovery is in progress it hasn't been done yet coming to more aspects i would say like in uh, like in day to day life things are as i said earlier are now back to normal and going on now coming to real estate real estate is very important very like commonly talked topic nowadays because of rising interest rates prices are going down and people are going away from deals no doubt lot of deals we found getting failed and in the winter months real estate is always slower than summer months so now even more it is being impacted but at the same time rents are soaring like i really really feel it bad that somebody who comes now how are they going to afford a house it's like too much expensive even to rent when i came here in 2012 like 10 years more than 10 years back i was able to rent one bedroom apartment in 920 in toronto can you imagine that rent today you can't even imagine a studio in that rent in uh, today something that i could do 10 years back and it's hardly i mean it's very difficult and it's not just now uh, concentrated in gta in other areas rental uh, value is going up and people are struggling in many houses i am seeing like multiple families have started living together and this is happening in various apartments like in two bedroom apartments it's very common now to see two families occupying one room each and sharing the rent it is happening across so this is going bad definitely it is bad something needs to be done government is taking some steps there are some pros and cons and discussion is going on in media but ultimately the ultimately i would say when we have a massive plan of immigration we should have massive plan of uh, upgrading our services whether it's real estate healthcare police or anything else that is required to the same levels otherwise there'll be a continuous shortage all the time so this is what the life here is and anyway guys holiday seasons are approaching 
many organizations now are going to be closed at least for some time people those who save their leaves now is the time they are going to take it holiday destinations like niagara falls and other are going to be more and more expensive down the line because now the crowds are going to be higher so that is how it goes guys and uh, so i give you an idea of overall what are the things are happening here thanks for watching this guys please subscribe to the channel thank you